The EM Smart Basic 2R is a complete fiber laser system with some drawbacks, but if we take some time to consider its intended use and some of the benefits of a system like this, is 3P lasers capable of making up for its deficiencies? While I did receive this review unit from 3P Lasers for free, I was not paid for a review, positive or otherwise, and the opinions shared in this video are completely my own. While I'm grateful you guys value my opinion, make sure to always do your own due diligence before deciding to make a laser purchase and do not rely on my opinion exclusively. The EM Smart Basic 2R, more than any other machine we've reviewed on this channel, is a mystery. After spending a fair bit of time with this unit, I've still got a lot of questions about its components and build quality that I don't think are going to be answered anytime soon. Still, with that considered, it does have some attractive features, especially in the realm of design, aesthetics, and portability that make it an interesting option for people who may be looking to engrave on the go or add a secondary or backup laser to their lineup. The EM Smart Basic 2R is teeny tiny. It's so small in fact that when it arrived from the studio I thought it was a diode laser delivery. You can be forgiven for thinking the same. The small footprint is definitely a plus if you intend to travel with this machine. It appeared to be packaged well with the various components of the chassis placed thoughtfully into the foam case dividers. My EM Smart 2R arrived with the unit itself, a USB cable, power adapter, questionable safety glasses, the rotary device, some laser cut acrylic positioning bars, some testing materials, and a USB disc with your free copy of EasyCAD 2. Once you get the parts out of the box, getting the thing assembled is fairly straightforward. All it takes to get things together are a few machine screws, a hex wrench, and some common sense. You can have the whole thing built in 15 minutes if you're moving quickly. Once together, plug in your power cable, USB cable, and load up your laser software and get to calibrating and marking. The build is undeniably sleek and modern. The chassis is an all-in-one design cut from high quality aluminum and the bed is set up with your standard breadboard grid for whatever attachments you'd want to use or jigging you'd like to apply. Unlike its cousin, the original EM Smart or EM Smart Nova, the basic models have a long rubberized fiber optic lead that travels from the base to the laser path. For whatever reason, I like this much better than the original EM Smart fixed tower design. On the front of the base, we have a basic on off power button as well as an appreciated emergency stop switch. The sides of the unit are clean and bare of any mechanisms or controls, and around the back side is where we'll find our power and USB ports, as well as our rotary port for rotary engraving. Both the tower and laser path are sturdy and feel like one cohesive piece, which certainly helps with the aesthetics, and the manual turn handle for raising and lowering your focus is nice and compact, so I didn't have to worry about it getting in the way when trying to travel. The red light focus guide is sufficient for use with one lens, though I found it can be a little awkward to adjust if needed. It gets the job done, but as always with Galvo lasers, I recommend laser cutting your own focal sticks for the most accurate focusing experience. While everything looks very nice on the surface, I am a bit disappointed with my inability to go into detail on the components that make this machine possible. The Galvo scan head and F theta lens on the EM Smart units are completely proprietary, and I don't have much to go on as far as being able to ascertain their source or quality. Furthermore, during a live stream, I took a look inside the base unit during my initial unboxing to inspect its internals. I was contacted by 3P Lasers shortly after the live concluded, and they requested it be removed. I removed the live stream as a professional courtesy, but it's very frustrating feeling like I can't show you guys the inside of the machine during this review, as I do believe that's valuable information when considering if we'll recommend a laser. I could speculate as to why 3P Lasers requested this part of the live stream be removed, or why they requested that it not be part of the review, but to be honest, I'm not sure why they don't want this information shown. Please just be aware that you won't have concrete information about the internals of this machine until you've purchased it and it's in your hands. While 3P Lasers offers a variety of units with different sources installed, the review unit I was given came with this 25 watt 
custom max source, so we'll be judging this particular review based on that. This unnamed 25 watt max fiber laser source, while seemingly dependable and fairly easy to use, still just doesn't inspire a ton of confidence in me. Despite the legions of fans out there vouching for these very budget-friendly sources, I still find myself worried about what the longevity will be for them and how much strenuous activity they can endure before issues start to crop up. Max sources have certainly improved since I came to know them, but it just hasn't been long enough yet for me to wholeheartedly recommend them, especially for a main production unit, but more on that later. Since it behaves for the most part very similarly to my 30 watt JPT LP source by Mactron, I was able to use the same settings library with small variations here and there. That said, you are looking at a 30 kHz to 60 kHz frequency range, so there will be some limitations there when trying high frequency marks, including some anneals and when working with plastics and other synthetics. Like every laser we review on the channel, it's really important to consider what I believe to be the machine's intended use when addressing usability. It's super easy to recommend this to anyone looking for a second or third machine that they plan on using as a backup unit or for a mobile operation of some sort. Clearly, even more so than the typical portable style fiber laser, this machine is perfect for marking on the go. That's where this machine truly stands out. While I don't believe the 2R is an unstoppable powerhouse, and I have some unanswered questions about the reliability or quality of the parts, since we weren't allowed to look too deeply into this, these things are freaking small and would be easy to travel with. That by itself is worth something. In my opinion, the small bed, limited tower height, limited lens selection, limited laser source, all this makes this extremely difficult to recommend to anyone looking to purchase this unit as a main rig that they plan on starting or running a business with. Likewise, I probably would not recommend a unit like this to someone who is brand new or just getting started. I believe the low wattage of the laser and limited z-depth is going to prove challenging for inexperienced users, and I can see newbies getting frustrated with their inability to produce results similar to that of their peers due to the 2R's limitations. A lot of people that will be considering a machine like the EM Smart Basic 2R will be doing so due to the fact that the price is one of the lowest out there for a complete fiber laser system. Considering all the pros and cons I've mentioned, if you're an intermediate or experienced user who is on the market for a compact and low cost machine, EM Smart Lasers are worth a look and often pretty fair value for what you're getting. Truly compact fiber lasers are hard to come by, and based on the claim specs, I'd say that the price for one of these is totally fair, not to mention on the low end of the price spectrum for fibers in general. Sure, you can find full-size machines at a similar price, but why take the risk on cut corners or bait and switch tactics for the super low-priced full-size units when there's nothing to gain? At least here you can argue there's a trade-off, and that's the basic 2R's incredibly compact size and tight design aesthetics. So here we are at the recommendation, and where are we landing on this thing? The EM Smart Basic 2R is a mysterious piece of tech, if nothing else. I wish we could have gotten a lot more technical with our review of this machine's specs and core components, but with those factors still shrouded in mystery, I have a hard time recommending this unit to just anyone. That said, the basic 2R or one of 3P Laser's other fiber laser offerings, and there are quite a few, could be a useful addition to your lineup, especially if you plan on doing mobile engraving. Even as a second unit or backup machine, the basic 2R is a promising piece of kit with enough functionality to be useful and effective for the right operators. It's incredibly low weight, Compact footprint and thoughtful design make the EM Smart's new portable offerings deserving of attention and consideration for the right buyers, and that's why we think it deserves a solid 7.2 out of 10. Hey everybody, it's Alex over at Laser Everything, and thank you so much for watching this episode. If you got value out of it, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that the EM Smart 
basic 2R is actually pretty cool. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we review a fiber laser. If you love the channel and it's the best thing that ever happened to you, don't forget to go check out the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel and you get a bunch of awesome bonus goodies for signing up, like access to our parameter libraries, bonus live streams, and bonus podcast episodes, just to name a few. The community over there is excellent. I really, really highly encourage you to check it out. If you want to see what all of the fuss is about, head over to masters.lasereverything.net and find out how you can support the channel today. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, I've got some links down in the description for you that you can check out. And I think that's all I've got for today. So thank you so much again for hanging out with me today for this review. And we will see you in the next one.